Hello everybody, Brian here, and today I'm going to review the film Left Behind. But before I get started, I want to talk about an interview that I remember reading a long, long time ago was Sylvester Stallone, in which he was trying to justify his salary. At one time, he was the most, he was the highest paid actor in Hollywood. And his reasoning behind this was that he felt an actor shouldn't have to make a movie that he didn't want to make. And at first I thought it was a little BS. But then I started thinking about the career of Nicolas Cage since um, he got into financial trouble. And the films that he made have gotten schlockier and schlockier. And then finally, you know, he's the biggest name actor in the Left Behind remake. The original starred uh, Kirk Cameron back in 2000. This film also stars uh, Chad Michael Murray, um, Jordan Sparks, Leah Thompson. And then we have Caps, uh, Cassie Thompson and Nikki Whalen. Um I remember when I first read about this remake, I heard that they were going to tone down the religious aspects because this is a, a, rapture, a, a rapture movie. I wish it was a rapture movie. They were pretty cool. The dinosaurs on a plane. Um, but anyways, um, it's a rapture movie, but this one was designed to be more of a, a disaster film as opposed to a religious type film. Although there's still religious overtones to it. I noticed when I'm watching the film that there was no nudity, there was no swearing. Although, um, Nikki Whalen's character, um, she has a really tight outfit. She plays um, a flight attendant in the movie, which actually was actually kind of distracting in some of the scenes. But anyways, um, in this film, uh, Nicolas Cage plays a family man who um, would rather go to work than be with his family. Actually, he's planning to have an affair. But um, his wife, played by Leah Thompson, has become really religious, and that kind of pushed away both Nicolas Cage is a character and his daughter played Cassie Thompson away from um, their mom from her mom and his his wife so she's estranged from both of them at this point um, he's still with them together as a family but he's not you know that available and she's away in college but she decides to come to other uh, hometown her hometown and surprise her dad and she runs him at the airport along with Chad Michael Murray his character is he's a reporter for some I don't even know why he's even be in the movie, but he's in it as a reporter. Um, so anyways, um, so Chad Michael Murray, he's getting on the plane that's being flown by Nicolas Cage's dad. Nicolas Cage. Nicolas Cage's dad. What the hell am I saying here? And Nikki Leon, she goes home to see her mom, and she also has a younger son. So basically, when this rapture hits, Nicolas Cage is on the plane with Chad Michael Murray and Nikki Whalen, and uh, Cassie Thompson is in that, on the ground with her little brother. But of course, since he's a young child, he, um, as, as well as all the other children, get raptured right away. The one thing I thought was interesting about this film was that um, there was a couple characters that should have been raptured but, the, but, but weren't. The first character was an elderly lady who was um, suffering from dementia. And I was thinking, well, what did she do not to get raptured? I mean, she had no idea where she even was at this point in her life. She's totally out of it. Her husband got raptured and she didn't. The other character is probably the nicest character in the whole movie, but his only sin was being a Muslim, which I thought was kind of interesting. At least they didn't make him a nasty Muslim. He could have been a terrorist or something, but they made him straight up, he's a really good guy, stand-up guy, but unfortunately, he's Muslim, so he didn't get raptured. So. He does take care of the uh, elderly lady later in the mo movie when she's scared and no one knows what's going on. Um, if they were smart with this film, what they should have really done was have both pilots on the plane get uh, raptured. As it stands now, that the crew, for some reason, on this plane wasn't pretty many people. There was only four people on the plane, and um, four people on the crew. There was like two pilots and two attendants, which I thought was kind of odd. So half the crew is missing, and they're on the plane, and they're running out of fuel. Like when the rapture hits, they decide to head back to uh, the city, where I think it was L.A. or whatever, and. Um, Something happens, and uh, the plane is not enough fuel to make it back. So it becomes this race against time to land this plane, which is an interesting, I guess, side plot, I guess. Um, but I don't know. There's some decent scenes, like in the city of disasters and stuff like that. Like uh, one thing I noticed was a lot of the people that were police and um, paramedics, like they were still doing their jobs after the rapture hit. Although some people were robbing and looting. I don't know if that really happened right away if a rapture ever happened. Um, I became a really big fan last summer of the TV show The Leftovers, which is a similar theme, and I actually did the story a bit better than this, which was kind of uh, their first strike against this movie in a, in a way. 
the other strike is basically like depending on how you view religion um, there's no one really left for you to identify with like uh, if you're really religious you're going to be watching this movie thinking huh I'd, I'd be raptured anyway so I don't have to worry about and if you're not religious you'll probably be offended by the concept of um, losing your loved ones and being left behind I guess so there's that Although, um, I think, I do believe this is the kind of movie that could become a cult hit. I know back in the 80s and early 90s, people tried to manufacture cult hits. And cult, cult movies are usually done by, um, accident. They're never something that was meant to be a cult hit. It's, some, it's usually just something that just happens. I can see this film becoming the kind of thing where a bunch of guys get together, get some brews and whatever, and just sit back and just have a good time watching it. Um, I, I kind of, I was amused by this film. So that's my review for um, Left Behind. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you all later.